Hi folks, I wanted to take just a quick couple minutes to show you how you can use Adobe Spark, which is a really, really cool free uh, service, a free website where you can create pretty awesome websites just like this one that have uh, some pretty dynamic images and moving pictures and all sorts of cool stuff. So we can create a website that looks just like this one very, very easily. And I'm gonna show you how to do that in a few quick videos. So where we're gonna get started is Adobe's uh, Spark's homepage, spark.adobe.com. That's where we want to start. Um, and again, you can click up in the upper right-hand corner, log in or start now for free, which will take you to either place. If you are using a personal account, you'll want to sign in with one of these ways over here, Facebook, Google, or so on. If you have a school account, you can log in that way, which automatically gives you the premium version and it uh, bypasses the 13-year age limit for your students. So that is something worth looking into if this is something you want to use with your students. It's a very easy program, um, so it's highly recommended. We use it with ours and we love it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to continue with Google because um, that is what I'm doing. So this is my personal account. I do not have the premium version. I am using the free version, so I wanted to make sure you could see all of the capabilities you have with the free version. So we're going to get started um, by clicking on the blue plus. If you've never used Spark before, you might automatically show up on a page like this. Uh, we want to create a brand new web page. There are some templates down here, but there are not any templates for web pages. So we're going to start from scratch uh, by creating a brand new web page. So when we bring that up, it's going to give us pretty much a blank empty canvas here and this is uh, sometimes a frightful way to start putting a website together but we'll we'll put some ideas on here and you'll see how it's going to take shape up in the right hand corner we have themes and when you look at themes there are some options for really basic uh, ideas of, of what your your colors might be and your kind of backgrounds and things like that so if you choose one like let's say we choose this crisp one it changes the font style to be sort of a skinny font and if we scroll down a little bit you'll see the background color is kind of white if i go back to my themes and choose nightcap it'll be a little different the text will be darker there's gonna be a dark background here at the beginning and our background will be black or a dark gray so again it kind of goes with uh the theme kind of goes with whatever it is that you want to put on your website and this is always changeable down the road it will not change your content so uh we'll just go ahead and we'll grab vintage um just so we can see what that looks like and, and again we'll start uh like we would start anything with a title and for now i'm just going to say um title page something like that uh, you can add subtitles, so we'll call this a subtitle. Now, one of the things that um, they do require you to do right here at the beginning is put an image as the background for this. So we'll click on the plus, choose a photo, and just like everything else with Adobe Spark, you can find free photos, use their stock photos, there's Creative Cloud, which you can use if you have other Adobe products, Dropbox photos, Google Drive. Um, I'm just gonna find a free one, and let's say I wanted to create um, you know, some sort of project about bears. I'm just gonna type in bears, and we've got lots of different options. I'm gonna go ahead and steal that one right there from Unsplash. Uh, that's a great place to start. So, again, with the vintage theme, you can see that our color is sort of changes as we scroll up and down. If, again, if we wanted to change that to something different, maybe we switch to Baldwin. The content hasn't changed. Um, but my backgrounds maybe change a little bit. So again, once I've got my title page, my subtitle, we can start adding content to our story down here. And this is really where the magic happens. We're gonna sort of look very briefly at these first four, um, and then we're gonna take a look at the other three in a separate video. So again, if I'm adding just a simple photo, if I'm looking at another picture of bears, I can click on that one, uh, and that brings up another picture of bears. Again, if I wanna add captions, Captions can go here. Um, if I want to add a more text in between, so this would be some uh, some content, whatever else you want to put here, and so on and so forth, and that text will be there. Buttons are a really nice option because you can add specific links uh, or URLs that you want people to go to. So you could say more information, and here we can have them go to Google if we wanted to. Okay, and then you can determine if it's in the middle or if it's right aligned or left aligned. When you hit save, it's going to put the button there. If I click on it and click edit, I can change the alignment. Hit save, it'll put it in the middle. So that's kind of how that works. And all of these options, if you click on them, you can change um, some of the content. You can make it a block quote. You can make your text larger or even larger than that. Um, hit enter, and you can put in then some normal size text down below. So you can still do 
headlines and things like that, just like you could anything else. Uh, and again, videos are the same as other videos. So if you click plus, choose video, you have URLs for YouTube videos, um, Vimeo and other Spark videos that they'll put in here. So if you've got a decent YouTube video, throw that in there and it'll be watchable right from this, uh, from this website, just like it'll show up over here. I did this Yosemite one as a sample. And if I scroll down, here's my Yosemite video. This is coming straight from YouTube. And what I love about it is it automatically pops right out uh, into uh, like a full screen view. And when you close it, it goes back to your website. So really, really handy. What I love about the capabilities here is we're talking about presentations. So this cool stuff we're gonna look at in another video, uh, but this is enough to kind of get you started putting your own website together using Adobe Spark. So check out our next videos. We'll talk about these other options over here on the right, the glide show, the split layout and the photo grid. And then our third video, we'll talk about how to present and share and what you can do with this once you're done. So we'll see you then.